In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the if na function in Google Sheets. What this function does is it lets you check um, whether your cells have na errors, and if they do have na errors, you can replace them um, with something like a zero or a blank. Um, the reason you want to do that is some functions like vlookup, match, hlookup, um, a ton of other functions. When you use them, they return NA errors, and then if you want to do calculations um, with the results of those functions, you can't because your calculation will also result in an NA error. So by using if NA, you can kind of control for that and make sure your calculations work as properly. So I'm going to show you how to use this. Um, this is the basic syntax. There's two arguments. The first is the value that you want to check. And then the second is the value that you want to return if this value is NA. Um, so it's a pretty simple function to use. Um, just to show you an example of a situation we might use it, I'm just going to do a basic VLOOKUP with this data. On my data over here. So here's what I want to do is I want to look up these scores over here for these names, um, but you can see some of them don't exist um, in the sheet that I'm looking up. So they result in this NA error. And then you can see my sum here. I want to do a just a basic sum of these values and that also returns an NA error. Um, because I have these in my data, so it's not going to work properly. So this is a situation where we really want to use um, the if na function to control for that. And so using it is pretty simple. I'm just going to wrap my vlookup um, in the if na function. So this is going to be um, the first argument of my if na function, and then in my second argument, I'm going to specify what I want to return if it does equal NA. So just to show you if NA and then I have to put a comma at the end of my V lookup and inside quotation marks I'll put a zero. So I'll just set it to if it's an F if it's an NA error it's gonna return zero. And then I'll paste this down. So you can see my two NA errors now instead of being an NA or zero, and that makes it so that my sum works properly. Um, so most often you're using if NA to wrap other functions and just control for those errors. And most people like to use it either um, returning zero or you can also return a blank by inside your quotations not having a value. And your functions here, or your calculations using that will still work if it's blank or if it's zero. Um, so that's just one example of using it with the vlookup. Um, there's a ton of other functions you can use that return NA errors. Um, I'm going to place a link to the blog post um, that goes over this step by step. If you want to learn more about this, I'll put that in the description of this video. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.